right, so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a hammer drill versus hammer drill. Now, there is a couple of tasks that we're gonna have the hammer drills do. First, we're gonna have them do a three inch hole into a four by four and see which one does it faster. And we're also going to uh, drill a half inch, by a three, three quarter inch hole into a solid piece of brick. Now I'm not talking like a cinder block. Along the side of my house I have uh, these like 80 pound uh, design of a brick that's like about, I'd say nine inches uh, thick. And so it's pretty much a solid piece of, uh, of brick. So we're gonna have uh, the hammer drills uh, see which one does the, the hole faster and if it's even capable of doing it. Now the two hammer drills that are going to be facing each other is the Tech Life hammer drill, which is model PCD04B. Uh, it's a 20 volt drill. This goes to zero, uh, I believe it goes to zero to 450 RPMs on the low setting. And then on the uh, high speed setting, which is setting two, it goes to zero to 1600 RPM. Now, the other drill that we're gonna use is Ryobi T, uh, P214, and it pretty much has the same stats uh, when it comes to against the TAC life. Speed setting two goes to zero to 1600 RPM, and I am looking for a speed uh, of the first speed. Yeah, I can't find, uh, they actually, I don't see the stats for what it is on first speed, but the second uh, speed, goes to zero to 1600 RPM. But the Tech Life keyless chuck, uh, after using it for a while, the locking chuck actually locks a lot more firmly than the Ryobi does. Because at unlocking it, you actually hear a click. So it, I think there's a, a mechanism inside to where it actually holds the chuck in place even better than the Ryobi does. This one has a 16 point chuck, this one has a 24 point chuck. They both have drill, screw, and hammer settings on them. The light on the tack life is underneath the chuck, and the light on the Ryobi is on the base. All right, and the last thing is on the Ryobi, there is an attachment, which the Ryobi does come with a handle. If they had like a uh, uh, a little metal reinforcement on there, I would use the handle, but since there isn't, I'm only gonna use the back and push down to keep it level. All right, so the first thing, the first one we're gonna do is we're gonna do the tack life. First, we're gonna have it on drill, setting two. Clutch doesn't matter when it comes to drill. So I got a hole right here, not pre-drilled, I just dented it, so. Three, two, one, go. Maybe I'm putting too much pressure on it. Cutting through it. It is cutting through it. So we'll stop the timer there. All right, so that is the battery is at about 75%. So let's do batteries on full. Let's do the Ryobi P217. I think this is. So yeah, a two amp hour battery did that. That's actually extremely good. All right, so three, two, one, go. Yeah, 
Yeah, see, like I said, the Tech Life has a chuck that keeps it locked in place really well. This, I knew this was going to slip out. I knew it would. So that's that. All right, so the battery is at 75%. So is the Ryobi. Both at 75%, so they're equal. Start the timer in three, two, one, go. All right, the battery on that is half. So we're actually gonna put this on charge. All right, so next it is time for the Ryobi. Battery is at 75%, just like the Tack Life was. All right, so three, two, one, go. I do not know what the results were. Uh, in editing, I will know. All right, so I'm letting the Tech Life ha uh, battery charge. So we'll wait for that. All right, so the battery says full bars. So we are ready to go. We're going to use the three quarter inch hammer drill bit, which this is actually crazy thick. I'll be surprised if either of these could even do this. All right, so three, two, one, go. <laughs>
Wow, that actually did it. All right, so I'm gonna measure that really quick. All right, let's see what the Ryobi can do. We're gonna do the same thing. You know, have the hole like that. Three, two, one. There you go. Ryobi was able to do it pretty much with almost not stopping. I stopped it once to uh, uh, to clear that out, just like I did with the Tack Life, but that actually did it without stopping. It actually went beyond. No, it's at the same mark. To get it to the same mark. So both of these tests were a, a major success. So. This one struggled a little bit, uh, but it did not prevent it from doing the task. This one uh, did the entire thing, but like I said before, the chuck uh, made the uh, unloose, untighten the the bit, and I had to retighten it again. When this one it did not lose the bit at all. So the, uh, the on the tech life, the chuck actually has an extremely good locking bit. This one, not so much, but this one did do the job a little bit better than the than the Attack Life uh, hammer drill did. But it has its both has its ups and downs. Now that was with a 1.5 amp hour battery versus a 2.5 uh, 2 amp hour battery. But there really isn't that big of a difference between the two batteries. 2 amp hour and 1.5 amp hour, it's not really that much. Now there is a huge difference between a two amp hour and a four amp hour. Big difference. Now the Tack Life is $70. It does come with some drill bits, some Tack Life drill bits. It does come with this uh, adjustable extension, which I tested this out. This actually works. It actually, this actually works very well. It comes with 1.5, uh, one two amp hour battery, comes with a one hour fast charger, and it also comes with uh, the clip and of course the hammer drill. Now that's not a bad price for $70. And this does do the job. This does do the job. It also comes with the Tack Life bag. And this, it's, this uh, has Velcro in it so you could secure the, all these uh, pieces in its spot. You know, unlike the Ryobi bag to where it just floats in place. Now, this uh, Tech Life is an Amazon based product, so if you're a part of Amazon Prime, I think free shipping is involved if you order this online. And so, yeah, it's, a, it's actually it is a good hammer drill. Now, the Ryobi hammer drill is a bare tool purchase for $70. Now, you could get a kit with two 1.5 amp hour batteries and a one hour fast charger for one. Uh, $144, but you could also just get the bare tool. So in comparison, in the same price, you this is a better deal when it comes to the Ryobi hammer drill because just for the drill, you get a two amp hour, 20 volt battery, you get drill bits, you get uh, the bag, you get a fast charger, 
So the, uh, when it comes to the price, this is the uh, Tech Life is the better deal. I'll put the link in the description below for both products. And so, yes, they both did the task. They both did the task easily. I love my tools. Even my Tech Life tools, they, it, it's good to compete against uh, another, another brand. It, it, it's fun. It's seriously fun. To, now I know why making stuff and breaking stuff does this all the time because this is fun. I seriously enjoy it. It took me a few hours to uh, do this video, uh, film this, but I did it. And it's, uh, I'm going to do a lot more of these. I'm surprised that it did it. So I hope you like the results. If uh, more videos like this are coming up, I am filming today the drill bit war. So that's coming up pretty soon. So that's pretty much it for this uh, episode. So this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.